Welcome to this channel. In this particular, we would be simulating a RC phase shift oscillator circuit and we would be simulating this particular circuit using the NI Multisim tool. For more such videos on the circuit simulation, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below for more such videos. Open the NI Multisim tool and click on the component. Now from this particular transistor component, we have to select 2N222 transistor and place this particular transistor on the schematic window. Now we have to select the resistor and the capacitor value. So from group select basic and from the family select resistor and place the resistor value of 100 kilo ohm as shown in this particular tutorial. Now in order to rotate use control R and place this particular resistor value on the schematic window. Next the R2 value of the resistor will be 22 kilo ohm and place this particular resistor value on the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial. Next we require the resistor value of 4 kilo ohm which is the R3 resistor and place this resistor accordingly as shown in this particular tutorial. Next place the 1 kilo ohm which is the R4 resistor and place this particular resistor as shown in this particular circuit. Now we have to place a source. So select the group as source and uh, select power sources and select VCC. Place this particular VCC on the schematic window and double click on this. Change the value of the voltage as 12 volt and click OK. Now connect the 12 volt to resistor R1 and connect the resistor R3 to VCC. Connect the resistor R1 to R2 and connect the resistor R3 to Q1 and the emitter terminal of Q1 will be connected to the R4 resistor. Next we have to connect the R4 to R2 resistor as shown in this particular tutorial. Next we require the various capacitor and the resistor value. So select the capacitor and uh, in the component section select the value as 10 microfarad and place this particular capacitor on the schematic window. Now we have to place the capacitor of 10 microfarad and 100 microfarad across the resistor R2 and across the resistor R4. So we have placed the 10 microfarad. Now we have to place a 100 microfarad capacitor and place this particular 100 microfarad capacitor across the resistor R4 as shown in this particular tutorial. Now we have to connect the capacitor C1 to the base of transistor Q1 and the capacitor C2 is connected across the resistor R3. The capacitor C3 is connected across the resistor R4 and the other end of C3 
is connected to the other end of resistor R4 as shown in this particular tutorial. Now click on the resistor and we have to place 3 10 kilo ohm resistor. So also we have to place 3 1 nano farad capacitor. So place the 1 nano farad uh, capacitor which is C4, C5 and C6. So place this capacitor accordingly as shown in this particular tutorial. So once we have placed 3 1 nano farad capacitor, select the resistor and place the resistor value of 10 kilo ohm. So place the resistor across the capacitor C4, C5 and C6 accordingly as shown in this particular tutorial. Now connect the capacitor C4 to the capacitor C1 and the resistor R5 to capacitor C4 from capacitor C4 to capacitor C5 and capacitor C5 to capacitor C6. The resistor R6 is connected to capacitor C4 and C5 and R7 to C5 and C6. The capacitor C6 is connected to the capacitor C2. Next connect the resistor. Uh, uh, before that uh, let us place the ground connection for this particular circuit. So we will place this particular ground connection across the resistor R2 and R4 and connect this ground accordingly. Connect the resistor R5 to R6 and R7 to R6. Now we have to place the ground across the three resistor. So place this particular ground connection accordingly as shown in this particular tutorial. Now click on simulate and click on instruments and select the oscilloscope. Now place this particular oscilloscope on the schematic window. Now connect the positive terminal of the oscilloscope across the capacitor C2 and uh, click on ground and place this particular ground connection across the oscilloscope and the negative terminal of uh, channel A is connected to the ground. Now let us run this particular simulation and double click on the oscilloscope. You can see the output of the RC phase shift oscillator circuit. So the RC phase shift oscillator circuit must resonate a frequency of 6 kHz. So for this particular circuit design, let us assume the value of R1, R2, RC and RE as 1 kilo ohm, 4 kilo ohm, uh, 100 kilo ohm and 22 kilo ohm and uh, let the value of R be 10 kilo ohm. So based on the calculation, uh, we get the value of capacitor as 1 nanofarad. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.